ladies and gentlemen. Dun, 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 dun. It is the invasion of the ocean snatchers. Don't know. It's just a backdrop, all right? Just got to just gotta understand it's a backdrop. It's not a movie. It's a screensaver. Well, it's not a screensaver. It's like a desktop. Animated desktop is what they call it. So just enjoy the show, okay? It lasts for about 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes. Don't know. You haven't watched it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, yes, I'm having one of those days. Been up and up and up and doing consults and conversations. I just made an investment, and I spoke with the gentleman who owns the company for which the investment is being made, and that conversation went very good. And so it looks like this is the start of a beautiful relationship because it's strictly business because we're venturing off into other aspects of business. Now, while I, this is the beginning, while I sit up here and talk to y'all, we got to give y'all a heads up. Those of y'all who are watching the video who are understanding that your promissory note isn't a promissory note when you give it to a Federal Reserve agent. Now, when you give it to the lender, that's not a promissory note anymore. The moment you give it to the lender, guess what you just did? You just gave them a blank endorsement. And that was your intent. Understand, your intent was to give them a blank endorsement because the moment you gave them that blank endorsement, just that signature, and you gave them the right to transfer, yes, when you give them the right to transfer your note, go back and read your note. And read Federal Reserve Operating Circular Number 10, not Appendix Number 3. Read Federal Reserve Operating Circular Number 10. And when you're reading that, I just need you to look up the word collateral. And then read what you're giving up. What, you read what you give them the right to do. Read what rights you're waiving. Then you're going to look up attorney in fact. Read what powers you're giving them. That shows you that this was intended to be a negotiable instrument because it's the collateral that it's talking about. All right, so because you gave them a draft, you didn't give them a promissory note, don't you dare sit up there and keep believing you gave them a promissory note. It's called a draft because we're talking about the Federal Reserve Act. Hold on now. We gonna, before we talk about that, we got to talk, we're going to segue. See this right here? This is that professor. Can banks individually create money out of nothing? Mr. Ed, the one who sent me the, the document in the first place when I asked for it on video, Mr. Ed said that, hey, this is the one from 2014. That's right, 2014. We'll show you which one it is in a minute. He said, go to the conclusion, and it will tell you exactly how money operates. All right, go to the conclusion section. That's on page 15, 16. That's on page 16, y'all. All right. So anyway, hold on. We're going to go all the way to the top because we didn't start it from the bottom. Let's see if we can... Looks like we made it. We made it to the top. Okay, this is the 2014 one. Looks just like the other one, huh? 2014, available online. Okay, you can get it online. What's the link? Go do your own research and stop linking off of everybody else, you leech. All right. Whew, so glad we got that out of the way. Let me... I had a conversation with Mr. Rice. Those of y'all who know Mr. Rice, this is what we were talking about. Because a lot of people, y'all not going to get this if you don't understand it. You don't deposit nothing with the Federal Reserve. You're not making a deposit. So stop believing you're making a deposit. The professor told y'all. The Federal Reserve makes the deposit. Pay attention. Upon deposit with the Treasury of the United States of any notes, drafts, business, change, bank acceptance, trade acceptances, well, it doesn't say trade acceptances, but, you know, it's there because they tell you. Acquired, not deposited. Acquired, not deposited. Acquired, not deposited. Received, not deposited. Procured, not deposited. Those are the words the act uses. When you deliver your promissory note to the Federal Reserve agent, Acquired under the provisions of this act, any Federal Reserve Bank making such a deposit may, in a manner prescribed by the Secretary of the Treasury, that's why you can't do that. Now, hold on now. Let's show you so that you get it. 
Take me with you. I don't know why I got that song in my head by Prince. Take me with you. That song is in my head right now, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to go with none of you mother. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Such notes shall be obligations of the Federal Reserve procuring the same. Not didn't say receiving a deposit. Procuring the same. Now, I know, I know, I know. So deposited as security. Direct obligations of the United States. Pay attention. Shall be equal to the face value of the direct obligation of the United States so deposited as security. That's what you're doing. You're giving them a security with a blank endorsement. Now, pay attention. Procure the same shall be in the form prescribed by the Secretary of the Treasury and shall be receivable at par in all parts of the United States, including Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, American Express, doesn't matter where it is in the United States. It's going to be receivable by them. They can't get around that. For the same purposes as national bank notes, national bank notes have been replaced by Federal Reserve notes and shall be redeemable in lawful money of the United States on presentation at the United States Treasury at the Bank of Issue. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't deposit, you deliver it. Such notes shall be obligations of the Federal Reserve Bank procuring, receiving the same. Go ahead and look up the word procure. Pacour? No, Pacour. Pacour! I know Pacour! Anyway, now, hold on now. Make sure y'all understand, because some of y'all ain't getting it. Some of y'all just think, uh-oh, beep, 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 You got to go. Nobody wants you. We have provided, they've made provisions, that any direct obligation of the United States, or any notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bank records, acceptances, acquired by the Federal Reserve Banks, may be deposited with the Treasurer of the United States or with the Federal Reserve agents, and upon these securities, Federal Reserve Bank notes shall issue, now Federal Reserve notes. Now pay attention. You don't make deposits. That's not you. Everything that people have been telling you is a lie. This is what the law says. This is not what they say. We don't care about what they say. Go ahead and talk today, but you're going to see they they dead. Okay? They, 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 they ain't alive no more. So stop talking today. Because they, they don't want to hear what y'all have to say. Hey, hey, hey. Dun, dun, dun. What you got to say? Uh, nobody want to hear y'all. Not even the people in Hollywood. Not even the people who's swinging. Ha, <laughs> ha, I'm sorry. Some of y'all know the song and you know what I just did. So you understand. I'm a fool. All right. Now we're going to pay back attention to section number the one in green up top we're going to pay back attention to that section we just read that told y'all the same thing it says here i refer to section 401 upon deposit with the treasury of the united states of all contract obligations of the united states or any notes which are obligations of the united states and so forth under the federal reserve act Obligations that are deposited as the security and gold for reserve notes are placed in the hands of the Federal Reserve agent. You don't make it a deposit. They make it a deposit. Hold on now. Watch this. This provision is for the issuance of Federal Reserve bank notes, now Federal Reserve notes, and the security back to it of the obligation notes, drafts, bills of exchange, and bankers' acceptances outlined in the section that the gentleman has referred. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not making a deposit. As long as you understand that, you're going to be all right. Now, we got to talk, okay? So I want y'all to pay attention because this is the time, if you haven't been paying attention, this is the time you need to pay attention. Every single one of you with promissory notes, you think it's a promissory note, go and take a look. If it has pay to the order on it, pay to the order of, it's usually where the signatures are, pretty much the last page, or close there to it. If it has paid to the order on the note. Now, if your note doesn't have it, you have one of them old notes, no, call them up and say, no, I want I want the note as it, as it exists today. I don't want a scanned copy. I want you to send me a copy of the actual note. They will send you a copy of the note as it exists today. Now, here's the thing. You can literally request that in writing. And if they send you anything other than what you're requesting, then they are liable for that. Okay? You want the one that says pay to the order. As long as it says pay to the order and many of you have been kicked out of your homes and been evicted and been foreclosed on and been put out of your home by sheriff's departments claiming that you owe, y'all need to go back and get what's yours. 
Don't go kicking nobody out their home because somebody else done bought it. No, kick the bank out of their home. Why? Because a draft is not foreclosable. You can't foreclose on a draft. If your promissory note had paid to the order of on it or they transferred the note, pay attention. If it had language saying that they could transfer the note and you did sign that, most promissory notes and most deeds of trust say that they have the right of transfer. If they transferred the note, people, then guess what you got? You got a lawsuit. Because guess what? As long as it says transfer, it's a draft. It's not a promissory note. Go and read the instructions as to what a draft is, what an instrument is, and what a promissory note is. As long as it has language in there saying it could be transferred to someone else, it no longer operates as a promise to pay between two parties. Pay attention now. I know you don't understand. Just understand that a draft is not a promissory note, and a draft is not a promise to pay. And because it's not a promise to pay, they can't use it to foreclose against you out of your property. They cannot say that because you have a draft that that's a promise to pay. Go back and look at the last two videos on this done yesterday, and you will see that a draft, pay attention, can never be a promissory note. Okay? A draft can never be a promissory note. A promissory note is always a promise to pay. So even if it says promissory note on it, it stops being a promissory note when it has promised to pay. I mean, it stops having, stop being a promissory note when it has on there transfer or pay to the order. Any type of order on there or any type of language saying transfer stops it from being a promissory note, which means the judge, when they kept saying promissory note and relying on a promissory note language and relying on promissory note principles, that was a lie. That's why they were relying. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta go because I am tired. That's why I had that mix up a moment ago because I'm I'm tired. I'm I'm dead on my feet. About to eat me some food and go on and lay down at four sixteen in the evening. Well, y'all have a good day. It's Saturday. Y'all be doing y'all clubbing. I'll be doing my own on this thing seven days a week. Ooh, lordy, too long, too long, too long. Gotta go. Hey, y'all take care, and we shall talk. Arrivederci.